हेलो एवरी वन टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज हाउ डू वी हाउ कैन वी ऑप्टेन प्योर कॉपर सल्फेट फ्रॉम एन इम्प्योर सैम्पल फर्स्ट वट इज कॉपर सल्फेट कॉपर सल्फेट इट इज एन इनऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड इन ऑर्गेनिक मीन्स इट डज नॉट हैव कार्बन ओके एंड वी कैन यूज इट एज अ हर्बी साइड फंगी साइड एलगी साइड वाई बिकॉज इट कैन किल बैक्टीरिया एलगी फंगस वाई बिकॉज इट इज मिल्ड टॉक्जिक मिल्ड टॉक्जिक ठीक ना हो द टॉक्जिस्टी ऑफ कॉपर सल्फेट डिपेंड्स ऑन द कॉपर कम कंटेंट okay now the question is how we how do you apply or how do we apply copper sulfate to plants so this first we just take copper sulfate and add in the water mix with water and you just spray air then put the dissolve copper sulfate in the sprayer and then proceed to apply the mixture to the plants so it is used to kill bacteria algae and fungus why because it is mild toxic now we go to the topic how can we obtain copper sulfate from an impure sample the first point is take some impure sample approximately 5 g sample of copper sulfate in a china dish why we prefer china dish because china dish is used because china dish is used to evaporate excess solvent excess solvent and to produce concentrated solution now the second point is dissolve it in minimum amount of water why we use minimum amount of water to get concentrated solution you know in concentrated solution the amount of water is less and in dilute solution the amount of water is more and the amount of uh, solute is less but in concentrated solution the amount of water is less so we use minimum amount of water to get concentrated solution or to get saturated saturated solution now filter the impurities because you take uh, uh, impure copper sulfate because you take impure sample of copper sulfate and dissolve in the water when you dissolve in water then uh, there are some impurities are there so you just filter it so that impurities we can separate now the fourth point is evaporate water from the copper sulfate solution so as to get a saturated solution as we uh, already known about saturated solution what is saturated solution when we heat the solution and no more solid dissolve in the solvent then we will get saturated solution so here if we use china dish and just we heat it and this china dish there is a uh, impure copper sulfate crystals impure copper sulfate crystals and there is water also when we heat it then copper sulfate start dissolving it so we add some amount of yes yeah, some few crystals few impure crystals in the water or in the mixer why to get a saturated solution we add few crystals again and again and stir it and up to when when you get saturated solution when no more crystals dissolves in this water so you will get saturated solution now cover the solution with a filter paper why because so that uh, dust particles should not add in the solution 
and leave it undisturbed at room temperature to cool slowly for a day when you cool it then you will obtain the crystals of copper sulfate in the china dish and this process is called crystallization crystallization is a process to obtain pure crystal pure crystals from impure okay now there are few questions we have to answer these questions what do you observe in the china dish we observe or we get pure crystals of pure crystals of the solid but initially before we start crystallization or uh, initially uh, we observe there are some impurities in the uh, china dish but uh, uh, during crystallization uh, we will get uh, yeah we will observe pure crystals in the china dish and the second is do the crystals look alike the answer is yes all the crystals look alike alike means same because pure crystals has the same properties how will you separate the crystals from the liquid this is very easy we will separate the crystals from the liquid in the china dish by using filtration technique okay now the crystallization method is used to purify solids for example the salt we get from sea water can have many impurities in it to remove these impurities the process of crystallization used here we can use ev evaporation also evaporation also we can use to get uh, salt from sea but uh, when we compare then we will find that crystallization is better than evaporation why we will discuss crystallization is a process this is definition crystallization is a process that separates a pure solid in the form of its crystals from a solution and it is better than simple evaporation technique why because some solids decompose or some like sugar may get charred 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 means decompose into another substances heating to dryness when we get uh, sugar from impure sample then we should prefer crystallization method why because if we use evaporation technique then sugar get decompose into some other substances because of overheating because in crystallization we need not to overheat the solution but in evaporation we yeah in simple word i just explain uh, crystallization does not require very high temperature there is no need to boil the solvent but in evaporation the uh, it we allow the solution to heat to make the solvent evaporate and but the disadvantage of evaporation it may degrade the solute into some other compounds okay so we should prefer crystallization method some impurities may remain dissolved in the solution even after filtration but on the evaporation these contaminate the solids in evaporation we will not get the pure crystals but in crystallization we will get pure crystals so we should use crystallization technique now what are the application applications of crystallization you should know purification of salt that we get from sea water we use crystallization technique separation of crystals of alum or phytacry from impure sample the method or the process is same first you take uh, impure sample of uh, alum or phytacry then dissolve in distilled water same then filter the impurities and then uh, allow the solution to heat 
till when we get saturated solution then allow the solution to cool over a day and then we will get pure sample of fitakri or alum thus by choosing one of the above methods according to the nature of the components of a mixture we get a pure substance with advancement in technology many more methods of separation techniques have been devised in uh, higher classes we will study these methods in stees drinking water is supplied from water works a flow diagram of a typical water works is shown in the figure 2.13 i think uh, this figure is given below from the figure write down the process involved to get the supply of drinking water to your home from the water works and discuss it in your class what technique you are using to get the pure water pure drinking water okay this figure i will make you understand i will explain first reservoir in reservoir there is impure water impure water then first the impure water is allowed to in the sedimentation tank sedimentation tank the denser particles to allow solid to settle mean the denser particles they allow to settle at the bottom of sedimentation tank why because when we uh, leave the solution uh, undisturbed for some time then the solid particles get settle down at the bottom of the sedimentation tank then this solution pass passes into the loading tank in the loading tank there is some suspended particles there is some suspended particles but we add in the loading tank we add alum or fitakri okay uh, which causes suspended particulate or suspended particles to clump together to clump means they just join with each other and then they allows to settle means uh, sedimentation is also used to allow solid to settle and lo loading tank is allowed suspended particles or suspended impurities to get settled down by using alum or fitakri now some impurities are separated uh, by using sedimentation and loading tank then the uh, water passes in the filtration tank and there are some layers uh, this is the water and there are sand particles gravel gravel means like uh, stone particles small and coarse gra uh, coarse uh, gravel means bigger particle gravel means thoda small particles then the solution allow to in the uh, chlorination tank these chlorine tablets are there and uh, uh, in chlorination tank it is used to kill bacteria present in the water then we use this water for drinking purpose okay so this is the uh, method to pure to get pure water now we will discuss the three questions the first question is how will you separate a mixture containing kerosene and petrol difference in their boiling point is more than 25 which are miscible with each other dekhi to get uh, to separate the miscible liquids we use simple distillation and distillation and fractional distillation i know what are the differences what is the difference between the two distillation is used if the boiling point is the difference in the boiling point is 25 degrees celsius 
and if it is less than 25 degree celsius then we use fractional distillation means the answer of first question is simple distillation why the reason is because the difference in their boiling point is more than 25 degree again the first question answer is simple distillation now the second question is name the technique to use to separate butter from curd centri fugation centri fugation method okay and second one salt from sea water you can write evaporation or crystallization evaporation or crystallization any technique you can use in third camphor from salt you use sublimation method sublimation in sublimation we heat the mixture of uh, camphor and uh, salt camphor is a sublimating substance it changes into the gaseous form and uh, uh, then convert into the solid state and then we will separate it now the third question is what type of mixtures are separated by the technique of crystallization the answer is crystallization method is used to get pure crystals from the impure sample okay uh, and uh, you can also use uh, ki uh, we should use crystallization technique for uh, what type of mixer it is solid liquid mixer solid liquid mixers or in simple word you can write we uh, will use crystallization to get pure crystals or for solid liquid to use to separate a solid liquid mixer okay now in the next video we will discuss uh, physical and chemical changes and the question answer of which are related to this topic okay thank you